Hi to everyone. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We do thank God for all of you who are sharing with us. If this is your first time, welcome. If you are a regular, thank you for participating and helping us as we try and share highlights of uh, Sunday school lessons from this week. Our lesson today, we, we're still dealing with sidekicks. And, and, and today we, we're dealing with one that's called Haman. Haman. Uh, the, the point of our lesson study is that whenever you, you, whatever you do, do it with humility. Don't be haughty. Do it with humility, whatever it is that you do. And our lesson studies come from Esther chapter 3, 1 through 9, and Esther 6, uh, 10 through 14. Here is a Bible meet life. It says popular culture has not, no shortage of awards, ceremonies, and while the recipient publicly thanked those who helped them to get there, there is an underlying euphoria of look what I did. The greatest person who ever walked the earth, Jesus, is the one most worthy of praise and accolades, carried out his ministry with humility. As his followers, we are to be like him. We are to give our absolute best and do it with humility. So, so today, we, we're going to look at Haman. And, and as we look at Haman, we, we want to reflect on ourselves and see if we are do, doing uh, our job or whatever it is that we are doing with humility. We, uh, so so we, we, it's important for us to show humility as we are doing the things that are pleasing to God. Remember, what's the point? Whatever you do, do it with humility, no matter what it is what it is that you're doing. Our first outline, Esther chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, and it reads, After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamatatai, and the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgress thou the king's command? Now it came to pass when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did he reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. Accept honor with humility. Now, now we see Haman here has gotten a job promotion. And, and, and as he got his job promotion, the king told him, well, he, he promoted over above everybody, all of the princes and, and of the court uh, and the king's servants. 
But the king also told them that, that they were to bow to, to Haman and because that was a command. But but when you think about things like that, when when again he, he was elevated, but I don't believe he was dealing with humility. Because the king told him that they need to bow because of his position is not a reason for to bow. And, and Mordecai, Mordecai did that. Everybody else bowed the knee. Everybody else revered him. But Mordecai didn't. And because of his belief, there was only one man that deserved bowing down to and and being reverenced. And so Mordecai just didn't do it. He, he, he refused to do it. The, the, the people in the court said, why, why don't you why aren't you bowing down to him? Mordecai said, no, I can't I cannot bow down to man. And we must do the same thing to and we also see here the plot to annihilate the Jews, to have genocide because Mordecai was a Jew and the Jews and the Amalekites were not cordial. They were, they were arch enemies. And so Haman the Agagite, he he was plotting to kill or to annihilate all of the Jews. Here are some lasting truths. Sometimes others of questionable character are given places of honor while our faithfulness goes unnoticed. Second, God's people often face the challenge of whether to obey the edict of the world or the edict of God. Others may not always understand our or agree with our decision to stand for what we know to be true and right, but we are to do it nonetheless. And fourthly, the proper response to honor is humility. So, so uh, apparently, Haman was not humble. And so when we get a promotion, we need to humble ourselves and, and deal with it. And then the next outline, Esther 3, 6 through 9, it says, And he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. For in the first month, that is the month of Nasim, in the twelfth year of, ah of King Ahasuerus, Ahasuerus they cast pool, or that is, they, they cast lots before Haman from day to day and from month to month and uh, to the 12th month, that is the month of Adar. And Haman said unto King Ahasuerus, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the province of thy kingdom and their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's law, therefore it is not for the king's profit to suffer. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed, and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the hands of those that have charged of the business to bring it into the king's treasury. Do not leverage your position for personal gain. Haman plotted 
to annihilate, to kill, to destroy the Jewish people and the whole land of Ahasuerus. He planned to do that. That was his plot. He was looking to to to, to annihilate the people. And so and look at it, he did it, he did it from 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 uh they cast lots for it. You know, they, they cast lot, he did it from day to day and from month to month. They they did that. And so it's important for us to see that that uh, uh he wanted to destroy the Jews. He wanted to destroy the Jews. And so it's so important because of his position, he wanted to annihilate all of the Jews in that area. Two things, beware of people who manipulate the truth to achieve their selfish objective and we need to be cautious against allowing our own ego and pride to blind us to the evil intent of individuals who say they only have the best interest in heart. So we need to be careful. Third outline, Esther 6, 10 through 14. Then the king said to Haman, make haste and take apparel to and the horse as thou said, and do even to, so to Mordecai the Jew that sitteth in the king's gate. Let nothing fail to of all that the, thou hast spoken. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him to on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaimed before him thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honor and mordecai came again to the king's gate but haman haste to his home to mourn uh, uh right here uh and haman told Zerah, his wife, and his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men of Zerah, his wife, that Mordecai be the seed of the Jews. Before thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shall surely fall, fail before him. So beware of destructive pride. Now, Mordecai, uh -uh. Haman had to honor Mordecai for what he did in saving the king. He had to be paraded all around the streets. But but because of the hatred that, that Haman had for Mordecai, he went home and he was furious. He talked to his wife and he talked to his friends and they tried to tell him now you can't if the king told you to do this you, you it's not gonna it's not gonna succeed and so it's so important for us to not to be prideful about anything because God has ordained it for for that individual. And because God has ordained it, can't nobody else do nothing with it. Listen, here are some things. Pride brings destruction. That was the problem of writer said. And then secondly, God's justice will prevail. And so it's so important for us as we are promoted to position that we are to be humble as we are promoted. Remember the, 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 the key, whatever you do, do it with humility. And so we, we have to look at Haman and make sure that we, we're not of the way Haman was, hated people. We cannot hate people in that. 
Until next time, may God richly bless you, my beloved.